Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. Many of you asked us, when do you check your engine oil, hot or cold? So stay with us, we'll explain that and common mistakes people make that can actually cause thousands of dollars damage to your engine or catalytic converter. We'll explain what we're talking about. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from another thing guys okay that engine's been taken completely apart okay completely apart oil pan is out you can see cylinder head everything and uh, we can demonstrate a few things while we're talking about the engine oil level so let's explain first how are you supposed to check your engine oil hot or cold that's a question that many people actually don't know the answer to fluid has a, has a, a rule guys always uh, almost always not always but fluids expand with heat to some degree not so much probably engine oil will not expand too too much but it will affect the oil level a little bit too another thing when the engine is cold let's say you let it sit overnight or for a few hours engine oil is cold uh, practically all the oil from the cylinder head and the upper part of the engine will drip back in the oil pan then all the oil will be collected in the oil pan because if you just turn the car off and you check the oil level that's not that's not right guys what we we'll recommend the ideal situation is make sure you have your car on a level ground horizontally okay uh, not to be tilted on one side or back or forward because what can happen okay you will get wrong reading and if you get a wrong reading you may add more oil when you add more oil okay that engine oil needs to go somewhere if it's too much the pistons will be moving up and down they will splash that extra oil and that splash will eventually cause oil to come around the uh, the oil rings on the piston guys and from there it can get injected in the uh, in the catalytic converter of your car which can cause damage to oxygen sensors catalytic converters and that could be thousands of dollars of damage another thing you can actually even uh, cause damage to the pistons in some cases but uh, not always depending on how much oil you overfill your car with if it's a lot you can actually uh, cause damage to the pistons as well another thing when you check it guys we we'll recommend to check it cold okay check it cold let the car sit overnight next morning pull the dipstick see the level see what it is before we drive the car that will be the ideal situation because first oil will not expand with heat second all the oil will be in the open and you can get an accurate reading always guys make sure that uh, if you check it hot it's still okay but let it sit okay for about three to five minutes i recommend five so all the oil almost all the oil will go to the open so it will not affect your reading so much uh, just never do the thing that let's say you turn the car off and you immediately open the hood pull the dipstick so hopefully uh, the video will be helpful now always use good oil guys because if you don't check out what can happen if your oil level is low or the oil is out or of low quality it can guys spin rod bearings it destroyed the crankshaft on this car from there it broke the connecting rod from there it cracked the cylinder uh, and the um, cylinder wall as well here in, and uh, engine block and it's done guys if you're burning quite a bit of oil always check the pcv valve we have a special video that explains the number one reason for oil burning so check it out and uh, always make sure that you get oil that's actually for your car okay that meets the specifications for uh, let's say 5w20 and make sure that on the bottom okay uh, it's listed your vehicle okay uh, meets those standards as well otherwise you can destroy your engine as well hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time